Hey guys and welcome back to another Unrangement 4 tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up and create a compass system. So in this I'm going to have it in the top left hand corner of my screen and it's always going to point to north so we know where that is and where all the other directions are as well. So if I to hit play and show you what we're going to make today, you can see that this arrow here is where north is and in the top right I have my compass where north is always going to be facing where that is. So my actual pointer on my compass is always pointing straight forward but the actual compass itself is rotating to always be facing north and you can change it around as well so the compass itself is always pointing forward but the pointer itself will rotate to point north which I'll show you now. And so now we've got that one where that one is now always pointing to the north instead so it's very easy to change and customize to get it working perfectly for you and as you can see this is where north is so I can easily move that to change where I want north to be in the game. And it's also done it based on the camera rotation so where the player is looking. So this is what I'm going to be setting up today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to import your compass textures. So now I've just made these quickly in Photoshop. I downloaded an image and separated the compass from the pointer. So I've got these two different images here. They're both PNGs with transparent backgrounds as well. And you're going to want to do this so they are two separate things. And you can use these, which I'll leave a link to in the description down below. Or you can create your own ones as well if you wanted to. This is just a rough one which I made very quickly. So once you've imported that, we want to create our widget blueprint to display this on screen. So I'm going to right click, go to user interface and create a widget blueprint, naming this compass widget as that makes the most sense for me. And I'm going to open this up straight away. In here, all we want to do is add in our compass image, which we have. So as I said, compass image, we're going to add in an image here, changing this image brush to be our compass, which we have. And for me, this is the compass background. So I'm also going to rename this image to be compass background. Now it's very important you do do that so that we know what it is when we come to use it later on. And the size of this, I'm going to make it 300 by 300, just so it's nice and big so we can see it for the purpose of this tutorial. But you can obviously make it as big or as small as you wanted to. And I'm going to be placing it here as well. So up in the top right, making sure to anchor it there as well. So that's how I've got mine set up. Then I want to add in another image for being the compass pointer. So what I'm going to do is just simply select this, Control c Control v to duplicate it, renaming it to Compass Pointer. I'm not sure if that's the actual technical name, but you know which bit I mean, just the bit in the middle, which kind of rotates around. And so I'm then going to change the image brush to be Compass Pointer there. I'm also going to make sure I put these in the same place. So minus 160, minus 145 for me. So let's do that for this one as well. X is minus 160 and Y is minus 145. So we have them in position like this. As you see, it just looks like one image because that's what we want it to do. We want it to just look like one compass, which either one can then rotate around. So we've got the compass background and the compass pointer. We're going to compile, save, and we can close this as that is all we need to do in here. We simply just set it up to display the compass on screen. So let's close that widget like so. Next, we want to create the north marker so we know where the north of the map actually is. So I'm going to right click, create a blueprint class, create an actor, naming this North Marker. And I'm going to open that up straight away as well. Now you can just do it like this, but just to make it easier for me to show you, what I'm going to do is add a component, add an arrow in here, changing the scale to be let's say 15, just to make it really obvious where it is. Compile, save, and I'm also going to untick hidden in game. If you are adding in an arrow in here so you can see where North is very easily, I'd recommend leaving hidden in game ticked so that you can't see it when playing, you just see it in the editor. But again, just to show you for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to untick that so I can see it. Compile, save, and we can close that because we don't need to do any code in here. We just need to use this as a reference to where we want the north of the map to be. It's because again, it's now e very easy to move about. So I can drag and drop and place this in here. And this area here is now north. If I move it here, that's north. Down here, this is north. So as you can see, nice and easy to move and change where north of the map is. So for the moment and the time being, I'm just going to leave it in the center of the map and we'll move it about later on to show you. But again, this here is north. So now we want to open up our character blueprint. So for me, it's going to be content, third person VP, blueprints, third person character. And in here, we want to do some very simple code. So first off, we're going to hold down P, left click to get event begin play. Now, if you've already used this, you can hold down S, left click to get a sequence, connecting then zero into the code you already have and then one into the code we're about to make. I don't have anything else, so I don't need the sequence. And what we want to do is we want to create a widget with the class being the compass widget we've just made. 
and the return value we're going to right click, promote to a variable, naming this compass reference. So we now have a compass to the reference so we can access those images which we just placed in there a second ago. And out of that reference, we're going to add to viewport so we're also adding this onto the screen as well. And then what we also want to do is find out where the north market is so we know where north is. So after add to viewport, I'm going to get actor of class with the actor class being our north marker which we just made or whatever you named it. And the return value is going to be get actor location so we know where it is in the level. And we're going to right click the return value, promote it to a variable, naming this north location. So now what we have is we have a reference to use and access our compass. And we also have a reference to where north is. So wherever we have placed the north area of the map, we now have that in our character blueprint as well. So we know where north is, so we can work out where the player is and where north is from us. And that's going to help us figure out how to angle the compass. So let's compile, save. And now we've set those parts up for references for what we actually need to use, let's actually set up rotating the compass. So underneath this, I'm going to right click and get event tick, like so. And then after this, I'm going to drag and drop in our compass reference, so get compass ref. Out of this, I'm going to get compass. Now for me, I'm going to get the compass pointer, because I want to rotate the compass pointer. You can do either one, so you can do compass background or compass pointer, like so. Get whichever one you want to rotate. And again, I'll show you with both ones like I did at the start of the video. And I'm going to start with compass pointer. So come out of the one which you're rotating and we're going to set render transform angle. And that's just simply going to rotate it so we know where north is because again, it's going to rotate to always point north. And that is going to connect into the event tick like so. But we need to figure out what angle we want to actually input in here. So to figure that out, we're going to find the difference between where the player is and where north is. So that's very simple to do. So we're going to right click and get actor location to figure out where the player is. Out of the return value, we're going to find look at rotation with the player location being start and the target being north location. So we're going to find the rotation between the player's current location and where north of the map is. We're going to right click the return value and split the structure pin because we only want to mess about the Z value or the yaw. And this is going to go into a float minus a float like so. And that's going to stay in the top value and what's going to go in the bottom value is going to be the control rotation, so which way the player is looking. So we're going to right click and get control rotation. Now you don't have to do this part if you don't want to, you can just connect the Z straight in there. This is going to be which way the actual player is facing, this way is going to be whichever way the camera is facing, so where the player is looking, which I wanted to do it with the camera instead. So again I'm going to right click, get control rotation, split the structure pin, and again minus the Z value from there like so. And then this float minus float is going to go into the angle of the set render transform like so. And it is as simple as that, we've now set up our compass. So again, all we're doing is simply finding out the rotation from where north is from where the player currently is. And again, I'm doing it so we're going to be basing it upon where the camera is looking, not just where the player is facing. So I'm going to compile, save, hit play and test this out. You can see north is to the left of us and you can see the red arrow is pointing that way as well. So it's pointing northwest, which makes sense. If I were to look directly north, it's going to face that way. Directly south is facing that way. So it's working perfectly. The compass pointer is going to be changing rotation based upon where north is from where we are looking, all working dependent like this. So if I were to just run around in circles around it, you can see how it's changing to always point north. And again, we can change it so the compass background moves instead of the pointer if you wanted it that way instead. As you can see here, so now north is going to be always facing that way like this with the background moving instead because obviously some compasses work differently so it depends on you for how you want it to work. But this is how I've got it set up today. So I think that bit of this video is we've done everything we want to do. We've set up a compass in which the image is going to rotate to always face north dependent on how we want to have it set up. But again we're always going to know where north is according to where the player is facing like so so we know north is there. If I look in that way I'm looking west look that way it's southwest all that good stuff which we want which is good for directions maybe even in a survival game or a shooter or anything along those lines so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like and subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one